Picture this, a time when spiritual wisdom was exchanged through spoken words, a time when knowledge was considered sacred and was passed on from generation to generation. This is the world of the Brahmanas, the second layer of the ancient Indian religious texts, the Vedas. Our journey begins with the Aitareya Brahmana, where we find a profound dialogue about the initiation of a Kshatriya into a religious sacrifice. Here, the Kshatriya seeks the blessing of the sun god Savitri for prosperity, wealth, and sovereignty. The text reveals how the Kshatriya is initiated by the Agneya deity, chanting the Gayatri mantra, moving towards achieving the Kshatriya status. This narrative highlights the importance of rituals and the power of divine blessings. Now, let's turn our attention to the Shatapatha Brahmana. Here, the text warns a Brahman against desiring the priesthood of every Kshatriya, for both good and evil are created thereof. It emphasizes the importance of understanding one's role and responsibilities in society and the consequences of overstepping these boundaries. Our final stop is the Taittiriya Brahmana. This text is deeply connected with royal or divine authority. It invites us to witness the rituals of offerings and prayers for the prosperity of a king. It captures the essence of the role of divine intervention in the success of a ruler. For instance, as documented in the Aitareya Brahmana, when a Brahmin or a royal Vaishya asks a Kshatriya to initiate a sacrifice to the gods, who should a Kshatriya ask for in return? According to the scripture, the Kshatriya requests the sacrifice of the sun, the ultimate symbol of power and vitality. These ancient texts serve as a bridge between the past and the present, reminding us of the timeless wisdom and the spiritual understanding of our ancestors. So remember the Brahmanas, they might just hold the answers you are looking for.